Hi everybody, this is Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers and I'm going to take you for a tour of this Quicksilver 580 Pilot House in glorious virtual reality. So what does that mean? Well, that means that you can look around where you like, when you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking. All you need to do is click and drag or swipe your screen up, down, left or right and you can look around at your, to your heart's content. And we hope that this really, really amazing feature will allow you to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. Some people are sensitive to the movement of the camera, so if you think that may be you, I will let you know when I'm going to move the camera so you can avert your eyes and then when the camera's safely back down, I'll tell you and you can return to the tour with me, but let's hope that doesn't happen. So here we are in this uh, really nice looking boat. We've got a great big cockpit here. We've got some good accommodation down below, but let's take a look at the features of the cockpit. Well, she's nice, nice and easy to get in and out. We've got a step uh, down here or step up here, two steps to the side deck there and then over, same on the port side as well. We've got rod holder, rod holder, rod holder here. We've got uh, stowage for a brush, etc. We've got a nice seat at the back on the starboard side, and we've got a removable companionway there as well, so we can go through there to the swim ladder, which is on the back as well. You'll notice we've got a, a lovely, great big Mariner 75 um, Optimax sat in the middle there with um, a smaller Mariner uh, auxiliary engine on the port after side there. So if the main engine packs in, which we hope it doesn't, then we've got the auxiliary to back us up till somebody comes to help us or maybe even get to get us into port. And uh, just uh, in front of that, uh, we've got a seat here, which uh, has been removed at the moment because that gives us access to the, uh, the battery in that cupboard there and the electrical isolator. Um, but all in all, feels quite nice and spacey. Very nice white boat too. The uh, uh, deck-wise, We've got two lockers here, which you can possibly, probably see into. Very nice clean bilges on this boat, which is great. So a bit of storage in there. If we just turn around to the starboard side, we've got a bit of storage in there too, all very nice. And if I lift the lid on this one, um, you'll see, well, you won't be able to see in, I don't think, but uh, you can see, there we go, there's a lid lifted up. You won't be able to see inside, but there is a, a, a nice deep axle, about a foot's depth worth of bilge in here. We've got the fuel tank virtually underneath where you're sitting, and also a tank for the, uh, for the little outboard too, so very good. And you'll notice that we've got a provision for a coffee table there too, as well, which is stored down below, so you can sit and eat your sandwiches, or you can sit and chop up the fish, whichever you'd like to do. The camera's also uh, sitting on top of a live bait well as well, which uh, was, has a, a, a pump to pump the water into, so all taken care of for you. Just coming around to the port side, more rod holders, and another one there as well, and also storage for a, 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 a hook, sorry, I forgot the name of it, um, a boat hook, so there we go. So, really nice area, nice and easy to get around, feels really good and solid as well, and really nice access through to the interior via this sliding door which is great it just uh, slides out of the way and then clips back behind here to prevent it slamming backwards and forwards in the waves all good huh so let's pick you up and take you inside first of all I'll place you down in the accommodation in fact I'll, I'll join you so I'll just put you there to the side let's hope you don't fall over and uh, as you can see we've got a nice generous kind of accommodation with this sort of boat. You may be able to kip down here possibly, probably be bending your legs slightly, but we've got plenty of sitting room. The um, the height, I'm five foot nine, so this, this is below me, but I think I could reasonably sit fairly comfortably underneath here. Uh, we've got a shelf across the front. We've got a, a watertight hatch there through to the anchor locker, I think, um, and the sides are bare GRP basically, which is not so cozy, but nice and easy to clean. Nice upholstery, and if I just remove this cushion here without pushing you over, I'll just hold you into place. You can see underneath this piece of uh, GRP here, we've got a porta potty there. So if somebody is caught short, then we can uh, manage, hopefully, without having to return to port too early. So there we go. I'll just place that back. Hope you don't fall over. Um, so that's what it is down here. Fairly plain, plain, fairly basic. We've got access to the electrics here, access to the back of the VHF and the stereo there. So everything's kind of there if you need it. And if you just turn to the port side, some nice handy pockets as well. Um, a little galley here. So we've got just a, a single burner stove here with a, um, a nice handy little cupboard underneath and another little cupboard there with a bit of work surface above it. So nice and handy, very easy to use and uh, reasonably safe. And then looking up here we've got a grab handle, we've got a, a, a corner pocket here, another pocket here and an opening window and uh, that's about all there is down in the accommodation. So all pretty good, does what it says on the tin and I think you've got pretty much everything you need down there. So fantastic. So let's pick you up again and we'll bring you into the here and the now magically up to the helm position. So there we go. So you're in the uh, the helming area with me. Um, 
great view. I mean, just look around you. You've got these huge, great big windows. Absolutely fabulous. We've got windows in the uh, the, the aft bulkhead and also the uh, companionway door as well there. So really good vision. Great for watch keeping at sea. Great for fishing, all that kind of stuff. Fantastic. Then up here. We've got a clear hatch as well, so good for more light air in, more, more light in, more ventilation in, even on top of the two opening windows here, which will just bolster that ventilation and light. Absolutely great. I'd like a go in this boat. Looking uh, behind us, or behind you, we've got the compass, very nice recent Garmin unit there, very handy. And as I mentioned, uh, just down in this area here, we've got the, the VHF radio, we've got a normal stereo, so if you want to listen to a bit of music, you'll be fine. And then over to the helming area itself, we've got wheel steering, obviously. We have throttle on the, on the right-hand side here, engine on and off, some electric switches here, uh, windscreen wiper controls, fuel contents indication, and uh, also uh, somewhere an auxiliary electric electrical socket and one or two other minor bits and pieces, everything you would pretty much expect. So looking behind the uh, the wheel, we've got a really nice comfy looking helm seat that does drop down so if you want to stand here you can or if you want your friend to come and uh, sit next to you we can put this uh, auxiliary seat up as well there, I won't uh, leave it up for now though and that's now nicely down out of the way if we don't want it um, and uh, we've got uh, quite a large binnacle on the outboard side here, a smaller one above and uh, generally feels like quite an ergonomic kind of place to steer from and I think sitting here you could probably wedge yourself in quite well uh, and along with the, the, the fold out step down below you feel nice and snug. We've got a kill switch here as well for that uh, safety thing should you fall away from the helm, very nice. Um, all gel coat surfaces inside including the deck head, very nice wooden effect flooring too so generally speaking this boat feels nice, looks nice too and we have the cup holder as well so may need a bit of uh, WD-40 but perhaps not on plastic so all in all very nice so thanks very, mu very much for watching this uh, vi virtual reality video of this boat it's been great to have you on board with us and we hope to see you again for more future reviews take care